Hello, my name is Mark, and I'm going to talk to you about a little project I'm working on with the Raspberry Pi. This is a automated climate controlled terrarium that I'm building, and I'm building it to grow some pearl oyster mushrooms from a kit that I ordered off of Amazon. So I'm using a Raspberry Pi. It's got a GERP board attachment, and uh, the GERP, GERP board lets me hook up some other circuits that I want to use including, you can see this USB is connected to an ultrasonic humidifier that I'm using to keep the humidity up. You can see it's just turned on right now because the humidity dropped below an 85% threshold that I have set for it. It's also got a fan hooked up to it for ventilation, for spreading out the humidity and also for uh, ventilating out the carbon dioxide that builds up. Uh, on the top here we've got a fan attached to a heat sink and another fan attached to a heat sink and in between is a Peltier module which when you run current through one of the sides gets hot one of the sides gets cold uh, I want to use it for controlling the temperature of it right now my apartment uh, keeps a pretty steady temperature which is ideal so it doesn't really get used although it is functional right now so I've got a rat's nest of wires and connections hooked up to uh, a breadboard that I'm using for uh, regulating the voltage on some of the circuits I've got a modified CPU power unit that I'm using for the power for it. And here's the monitor showing the temperature humidity output that I'm getting. And one of the things that I also did was create an Android app that uh, right now is just monitoring the output of the Raspberry Pi. And you can see, oh, one of the things I forgot to mention on it was there's a camera hooked up to the Raspberry Pi that's feeding a live stream of the mushrooms just for monitoring purposes so um, right now the, the app the Android app that I've got just monitors the conditions of the terrarium but in the future I want to make it so you can actually control from it so and uh, one of the other things I'm going to add to this is a touchscreen interface for the device I want to take all of this circuitry and uh, shrink it down into something compact without all the wires hooked up to it to, give it a nice presentation. So that's what I'm working on right now. Thanks.